It's a great day. My name is Shea Brown, your sales cardiologist, and today we're going to help you make more sales with less effort. One of the challenges that I hear when I'm out there in the field, and I'm just like you, by the way, I'm in the field every day. I'm speaking to sales professionals. I'm talking to business owners. I'm having conversations with speakers. And sometimes they say, Shay, what can I say to move the prospect to action? Shay, it, it, maybe you've wondered this as well. Uh, Shay, it seems like when I meet with folks, my conversation goes on a lot longer than I would like to. Uh, here's one that I want to share with you, and, and maybe this is in the back of your mind as well. They leave their conversation, we're not going to call it a pre presentation, let's call it a conversation. They leave, and then they say, I should have said this, I should have said that, ah, oh, I forgot about this. And they're wondering, how can I know what to say, when to say it, and how to say it? In other cases, maybe you're a sales manager, you have a team of folks, you're like, I would love to transform within my brain over to them. And you might be thinking, is that possible? And I recall when I first started, I was in a very similar situation. I would get on the phone and I had the energy. I was giving forth the effort. I knew my stuff. I was excited, but I'm not sure I was communicating my message. And I know as, as a leader, as a speaker, as an author, as a coach, as a trainer, sometimes you probably can relate to this. It's hard to make sure the other person understands what you're saying. But jot this idea down in your notes. This is your first note for today. It's your first note for the day. But people buy clarity. People buy clarity. Why? Because a confused mind rarely buys. So today we're talking at revenuetalks.com. Today is Revenue Talks, another episode. And I'm going to be talking about three steps to writing your profitable sales script. That's right. Three steps to writing your most profitable sales scripts. Because when I finally cracked the code and someone told me and shared me what to say, when to say it, and how to say it, you know what I had? I had more confidence. I had greater self-esteem. I started going after larger accounts. And maybe you're ready to do that. So let's step back. Let's reveal exactly what you can do. I'm going to give you big secret number one, and then we're going to give you big secret number two, and then I'm going to give you big secret number three. And I can't wait. But first, jot this down in your notes. It's what all sales millionaires understand. All sales millionaires understand this. Jot this down in your notes. The power of brevity. That means you're able to say less. Less is more. Type that right now, right below as you're watching this. I want to know who you are, by the way. So type your first name, type your last name, tell me what you do, and then type these words. Less is more. Wouldn't you like your conversation to be shorter? Less is more. Wouldn't you like to go after large accounts? Less is more. Sometimes more is just more. That's all that more is. So today we're going to talk about how you can speak less and bring in the power as well. Okay, so let's start off with step number one. Huh? What did you say? Oh, Shay, this is great. You want to learn the three steps to writing your most profitable script, but you don't have time. Okay, maybe you like Calvin. And I'm going to talk about Calvin, remember? I'm going to share a story about Calvin. But he came to me, and this was uh, maybe two or three years ago, and he was an entrepreneur, a business owner, and I was talking to him about the power of using sales scripts. And he, you know what he said? Shay, I don't have the time to write down what I'm doing. Shay, you don't understand. I get up early. I've got to drop off the wife. I've got kids. I've got a lot going on. I have so much. When will I ever have time to do that? So I said, well, let me get this right, Calvin. <laughs> you might relate to this, right? Let me get this right, Calvin. You have time to get up in the morning and show up at a BNI meeting, which is where I met Calvin, at a BNI meeting, which is a breakfast meeting for business owners. You have time to pass out your cards. You have time to have conversations. You have time to go home, get on the phone, and call people up so you have that time. You finally get an appointment with them. Then you have time, Calvin, to get in your car. You drive 45 minutes to an appointment. You spend an hour there. Now, Calvin, you wing it. Maybe you shoot from the hip. You shoot from the lip. You're not being continuously, spontaneously brilliant. You're doing whatever you can. You don't get the deal. You get in your car, Calvin. You drive 45 minutes back home after a two-hour meeting, and that's happening day after day, week after week, 
month after month. In this case, it was year after year. And I thought, how much money, Calvin, are you leaving on the table as a result of not knowing what to say and having a sales script in place? And I can tell you, when I first got started, even now, it's possible we're leaving $25,000 a month on the table between myself, between Trevor, between our sales team. No matter how hard we worked, we know we can get a little bit better. So today, tonight, this evening, whatever time is for you, this is your moment. This is going to be a great use of your time because guess what? I'm going to reveal the secrets. And if you went right now and you wouldn't try to Google like how to write a sales script, what are the secrets? Good luck. But I'm going to share it to you right now. So get your paper, get your pen, and let's get ready so you can be more powerful, you can be more persuasive, and you can be just like Todd. Let me tell you a quick story about Todd. Todd's a fantastic guy, by the way. Todd came to my house. Don't worry, I'm getting to the big secret number one. I'm going to get to the big secret number two. It's coming up. But Todd came to my house, right? And I was having him look at my alarm system. So they're there to sell me an alarm. Now, I have a home. I have a, uh, 22 windows, I think it is, five doors. I mean, it's, it's enough for me to want an alarm in the house. And he's there. And we're having this conversation. And I agreed to purchase the alarm system. So I, I think I'm done. But no, not, not Todd. Todd, that's his name, he wanted to upsell me. She so says, Shay, what if we hardwired this alarm system for you? Like, we drill in here, we're going to put it on the first level, the second level, and in the basement. Well, I said, how much more is that? I think it was like $200 or something for each one for them to hardwire it in so that it's wired versus having the battery in there. I said, Todd, I don't want to pay an extra $200. Do you know what Todd said? Now, this was a script. This was a script. And he said it. I remember it like it is today. And I'm going to tell you what he said. He stepped back. He said, Shay, if you're not home and your house catches on fire, do you want to wait? on your neighbors to call the fire department or would you rather the smoke detector go off and call the fire department right away? Who would you rather rely on? <laughs> That's a crazy question. I surely ain't relying on my neighbors. Hey, no offense, my neighbors may be watching, but they may not be home. I said, Todd, I want to rely on that smoke detector. He says, that's the reason you should do it. That, ladies and gentlemen, that was the script. That wasn't his first rodeo. It wasn't the first time he said that. But think about it. If he didn't know what to say, when to say, and how to say it, I might not have upgraded at that moment in time. That might not have happened. So let's step back and let's look at what you need to do because you might not know how to write a script because you've never been in a conversation with a sales cardiologist like myself. But you're here today. So let's talk about what you need to do. First, let's determine the script that we're going to write. Um, in this case, we're going to assume you're writing a closing script, a closing script. Now, I don't know what script you need. Maybe you need an appointment setting script. Maybe you need a referral script. Maybe you need a script to follow up with folks. Maybe you need a script on your product or service. Maybe you need a script to start strategic alliances. I don't have time to get into that now. Not in the time I have right now. Right now, we're going to write one script. So I'm going to assume that it's your closing script, okay? Just for purposes of this conversation because sales millionaires understand what? the power of brevity. So I gotta be brief if I can. You ready for here it is? Here it is right here. Big secret number one, this is step number one, is your baseline script. Jot that down in your notes. Your baseline script. Your baseline script is what you're saying today. So let's say you showed up, you're at our office, you stroked a check, $10,000 or more, and you're there because you want our team to write your script. The first step we would tell you is this. What are you saying today? That is a script. Now, it's not the most profitable script. It's not the most powerful script, but it's what you're saying today because here's what I want you to know. Jot this down in your notes. After you wing it two or three or four or five times, you drift into a script, and that becomes your script. So what are three things you can do to improve your baseline script? Number one, what you say. So all I want you to do is start thinking about what you're already saying today. See, that's your baseline. Your baseline is everything you're doing today to produce the results you're producing the day on a monthly basis. So that's your baseline script. The second thing that I want you to do is I want you to record your conversation. And you can do this. Look, we all have these, we all have these little smartphones right now, and you can record your conversation. So what you can do when you get to the end of your presentation, just turn on your recorder and record yourself. See, then, now you know exactly what you say. Because there's three type of presentations you always give, by the way. There's the one you practice, 
there's the one you wanted to give, and there's the one you actually gave, right? And so that what you actually gave is what is on that recording. It's not what you thought you gave. It's not what you wanted to give. So I would record it so you can hear exactly what you're saying today. So now we have a baseline script. The third step, I'm giving you very specific steps. The third step is to transcribe your recording. So now we have in writing exactly what you're saying. Now I understand each conversation may be different. So maybe you, you record two, three, four, or five conversations, but now you're going to have these transcripts and they're going to have some common denominators in there. Because you say about the same thing the same way. You tell the same stories. <laughs> you might even laugh at the same jokes. That might be you. That is your baseline script. So now you got step number one. You know what you're saying. You record it. You have a transcription. Let's move on to step number two. Now, I recall when I didn't know step number two. My mentor had taught me step number one. He shared step number two, but I, I didn't really get it. And it wasn't really till I got connected and I learned the system, the structure, the sequences and the script. I just gave you four S's, by the way. I ain't gonna give you the fifth one today. But I learned the structure, the system, the sequences, and the script. And that was all part of the Evergreen Revenue Model, which is the number one business strategy to help you make sales revenue without your labor being involved. And Evergreen means it's always the same. It's very fundamental principles. Why do folks focus on the fundamentals? Because they always work. So it's always evergreen. It's always evolving. The model means it's the same. You just plug right in and you do what others have done. Now, when I got that concept and I said, look, if this is how the evergreen model works, if these are the steps, these are the secrets to success, then you know what? I'm going to follow that. And as a result, as a result, I've been able to do that and I'm so grateful. Not only myself, but we trained our clients and many of you are watching out there today. Hey, thanks a lot and to many others on this broadcast. As a matter of fact, if you're out there right now and you say, Shay, it's time for a revenue shift. It's time for you to generate more revenue. It's time for you to step up. I've got to do something different. It's time to have that courage. And then look right below right now, type in your name, type in your name, type in your first name, type in your last name, and just type the word hashtag sales courage. <laughs> hashtag sales courage. You've got to have the courage to do something a little different. You have to have the courage to step outside of your comfort zone and you have to have the courage to take these steps. Do this now. When? Now. Okay, big secret number two. Big secret number two. Let's pay attention. Here it is. Yeah, I know you're curious. That's right. Step number two, reverse engineer. Reverse engineer. I'm not keeping these. These are just for you and for me, but you got to reverse engineer your script. What does that mean, Shay? Talk to me in my language because I'm not sure what reverse engineer means. No worries. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for showing up. It says so much about you. It says you have a thirst for knowledge. It says you know you have the potential inside you perform at a higher level. And this is what this can do for you. You know that your words can make you rich. And you're here today. So step number two, reverse engineer. Reverse engineer means you're going to begin with the last thing. That's what step number one. See right here? Last thing. You're going to begin with well, what's the last thing you want to happen? Well, Shay, I want them to sign the contract. I get it. And then you're going to step back and you're going to move things into stages. See this word? Stages. So, follow me over here. That's right. So the last thing you want to happen is um, you want them to sign the contract. And then what happens right before that? You want them to know that you're coming from a place of honesty. You're very, you're being authentic. Okay. What do you want to happen right before that? You want them to clearly understand the benefits. What do you want to happen right before that? You want to make sure you've answered any questions that they have. What do you want to happen right before that? You want to tell them a success story because you know that stories sell, facts tell. That's right. Facts tell, stories sell. Jot that down in your notes. Facts tell, stories sell. In fact, right below, go ahead and type that in. Put your name and then put facts tell, stories sell. Hashtag sales courage. Okay, we're here at Revenue Talks. Hopefully you meet me over there. RevenueTalks.com. This is brought to you by Black CEO Broadcast Network. It is amazing. We're talking about three steps to writing your most profitable sales script. We're on secret step number two. You're reverse engineering your baseline script. So now you started with what's the last thing what to happen. You put it into stages. So it's like a domino. One falls, then the next falls, and then the next falls, and then the next falls. And it happens in sequence. Kind of like baking a cake. 
there's certain ingredients that you need in the cake. If you were sitting back baking a cake, just like scripting has certain ingredients, I can't get into the ingredients right now, but it has ingredients. So if you were baking a cake, and I've never baked a cake before, but let's say you were, and you got some butter out, got some flour, you put it in the butter, you were mixing it up, and you looked and it said, you need egg. So you go to your refrigerator, you open it up, there's no eggs. You're like, oh my gosh. What would you do? The recipe calls for two eggs. You have no eggs. You would get in your car. You drive to the store. You would get eggs and then you would come back because that's what the sequence is. And you would wait. Like you wouldn't put the cake in the oven, let it come out, and then put the eggs on top. The same holds true for here. First, you're going to have your baseline script. You got that. You got that. It's in writing. Hey, congratulations. Step number one. Step number two is you begin with the end in mind so you know what's the last thing you want to happen in that conversation, then you put it into stages, you know what's going to happen there, then you start with the beginning in mind. Okay, now we're on step number three, and you've got to slow down some time to speed up. Someone jot that down right there below the feet, you put slow down to speed up. You've got step number one, you got step number two, you're dialed in, you're almost there, you're so excited. Shay, what's the big secret number three? What's the big secret number three? You've got the persuasion engineer one stage of your sales script. So let's say, for example, see this says one stage, one stage. So let's say, for example, I want to go into one stage of my presentation towards the end and the close. I've got to be more powerful. So you know you've got to be more powerful. And then I've got to add a technique. You've got to add a technique. Let me give you two techniques you can use right now. So this will help you. Now, if you don't know the techniques, don't worry. We've got an amazing gift for you. Amazing gift. You can probably see it right below. You can probably see it right below. But text in the word revenue. Text in the word revenue. And I have five gifts that I want to share with you. You're going to text that to 240. 428-6333. Again, 240-428-6333. Text the word revenue. I want you to get the concepts on how to write your script. I want you to have the techniques, but in the time I have, let me give you two techniques if I can. The first technique, let me try this. This, this is a bonus. We weren't going to do this. This is a bonus. It's called ICR. Now, this is you over here. This is you over here. So you now know you've got to use techniques. You're smiling now because you're like, oh, I got it, Shay. I got it. I never knew I needed techniques. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Revenue talks, opportunity for to make more sales with less effort. An ICR means interest creating remark. An interest creating remark. ICR, put that in your notes. Interest creating remark is something that you say that makes a person intend to go, Whoop, zoom up like Mork and Mindy. It's like the headline of the Washington Post. Um, it's like a radio announcement. So for example, you may say something like this. Listen very closely to what I'm about to share with you. See, that's the interest creating remark. You might share the next step that I'm going to share for you to take is what others have done that's help them increase their income, help them have greater health, help them have more peace of mind, help them improve their relationship. See, that's an ICR. Interest creating remark. You're, that's a technique that's more powerful. Enter into one stage as you persuade your engineer with, because you have your baseline script. And the next one I'm going to share, next one, drop this in your notes, it's called a mind reading technique. This is all part of our neuro linguistic sales series, and you might be wanting to say, what in the LL Cool J is neuro linguistic sales? Don't worry, Revenue Talk is bringing this to you. Neuro-linguistic sales is the study of language patterns um, and how it impacts the sales process. And it's a, it's a little more advanced, but you can handle this, and that's why I'm sharing with you what a mind-reading technique is. Jot this down in your notes, please. Don't miss this. This is very important. Ha <laughs> ha! You just used interest creative remarks, didn't you, Shay? Yes, I did! <laughs> but a mind-reading technique is when you tell the person what's on their mind before they tell you. Let me slow down to speed up. You tell the person what's on their mind before they tell you. So it's an opportunity for you to step back and you may say something like this. You might be curious what the next step is in order for you to receive these benefits. You might be thinking, what's the investment? How long does it take to get this installed? See, you're sharing with them. You might be curious 
why you should meet with me for 40 minutes next week. See, that's the mind reading techni technique. So you're telling the person what's on their mind before they tell you. So how do you write your most profitable sales script? How do you write your most profitable sales script? There are three steps. Step number one is your baseline script. You have that. You know what you're going to say. You recorded it. You transcribed it. Step number two, the big secret, is you're going to reverse engineer. You're going to think about what's the last thing you want to happen, break it into stages, and then focus on the very beginning, having a powerful opening. The best way to have a great close is to have a powerful opening, by the way. And then step number three, persuasion engineer. You're going to break it into one stage and focus on one area. You're going to be more powerful. You're going to use techniques. And with that being said, you will make more sales with less effort. I want to congratulate you for being part of Revenue Talks episode number two. Thanks for hanging out with us. I want you to know that, that you're a winner. Um, you have so much greatness inside you. There's so much potential there that's bubbling, that's waiting to unleash, waiting to come out. You can do this. You became an entrepreneur. Because you know the fastest, easiest way to financial freedom is through the path of entrepreneurship. And I want you to know this, if someone else has done it, you can do it as well. You showed up today and your past does not equal your future. You implement these three steps, you will make more sales with less effort. And even if you don't believe it, even if you're like, I don't know if that's possible, Shay, you don't understand, I want you to know that Shay Brown, I'm going to hold the belief for you. So look right below, look for like below, put your name in there, put your first name, put your last name, and just put hashtag I believe. Just hashtag I believe. If you believe the next 30 days are going to be your best 30 days ever, if you believe you're going to have your most powerful sales script written, if you believe you're going to help someone solve a problem, if you believe you're going to serve, then put your first name, look below, put your last name, just put hashtag I believe. And even if you don't, I want you to tell yourself this. As a matter of fact, you might put this in your notes. Shay Brown, that's myself, Shay Brown, I'm going to hold the belief until you get there. And I'm going to ask you to make sure that you be humble. That means you're going to serve, that you stay hungry. You're always going to get better than yesterday, and you always hustle. That means you're going to put forth your best effort. You do those three things, and you will achieve your goals. With that being said, my name is Shay Brown, your sales cardiologist. Make it a great day, everyone and we'll make good things happen. We connect again next time. See you soon. God bless.